Hey, Tim Lewis here, back in the studio. Thought I'd give a quick video on proxies and how to use them in Adobe Premiere. Um, before I begin, quick shout out to Umer Ahmed and Harris. You guys have been watching since video number one, so thanks so much, appreciate it. Uh, so what are proxies? It's basically uh, a twin version of uh, your larger file size video. So basically, uh, a lot of cameras that are coming out now shoot in 4K, like this GoPro Hero 4, um, shoots in 4K, but a lot of computers still can't really edit using 4K. It's, it just really, the 4K footage really bogs down the, the computer. So what you can do is use proxies uh, that are either in 720 or 1080p and use those to edit and then tie back the 4K footage after you edit so you don't have to um, use that, have that 4K footage bogged down your computer. So let's get started. Uh, so we'll begin here. Uh, as you can see, this is 4K. This is just footage that we used in the, another video. Uh, or Oblivious Clowns video, you can check it out in the corner. Um, so first things first, you gotta name your files something that's easy to remember. So let's do nose one and nose two. Uh, something also to remember is that the 4K footage has to match the name of the proxy, so make, make sure it's exactly the same. So, so what I'll do is I'll copy these over onto BD Encoder. Um, just highlight both of them, choose uh, QuickTime, so I use Apple ProRes LT because it's an easy to edit codec. It's an intraframe codec. Um, I'll get into intraframe versus interframe uh, in another video, but uh, long story short, it's basically easier to edit and easier to encode, uh, which makes it your editing faster. I use Apple ProRes 422 uh, 1080p 29.97. Uh, you can also use 720. Uh, 297, um, it's up to you. If your computer can handle 1080, it's better. Next, make sure that the note, the, the nose, make sure that the file name is the same, but save it in a different spot. I created a folder called proxies here, so I'm gonna save it there. And same one, same thing here. Nose one, proxies, boom, done. And then just click the play button and uh, we'll be back when uh, this is done. Okay, looks like the proxies are all set, so I'm gonna go over here, copy them over to Premiere. Um, I created a sequence ahead of time. Make sure that your sequence is your 4K settings, your 4K camera settings. Don't have it at the proxy settings. So let's say you know, when you drag these proxies over to the sequence, it'll, this will show up. Make sure that you do keep existing settings, very important. Um, so and then this will show up, uh, which is very normal. So all you have to do is uh, right click and then go down to scale the frame size, and then it goes back up, and you're all set. So you have to do that with all the other videos. Okay, so now after you finish your uh, Proxy Pro Res uh, masterpiece, uh, you can go over to the project panel, highlight both or all of your um, proxy files, right click and go down to Make Offline. This window will pop up, and make sure that Media Files Remain on Disk is selected. Click OK. This is very normal. So what you do is you go down and highlight your offline footage and right click and go down to Link Media. Highlight the first one and go to Locate. Um, I made another folder called 4K Footage, which is where the original footage is. Highlight the uh, one that matches, so Nose 1, click OK. And uh, it will automatically populate everything else because it just matches up in the folder. Look at that, it looks great. Uh, well, my computer cannot handle that. Uh, so you also gotta remember that, uh, remember when we first had the proxies, we had to scale to frame size, so right now, uh, these videos are, um, you know, double the size. So just select everything, right click, go down to remove effects, make sure motion is checked. Check that and you should be good to go and color correct. Very important, uh, proxies are only for editing, not for color correction. Uh, you wanna use your high quality 4K, whatever it is, for color correction. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you like the video, like, comment, subscribe here. And um, have any questions, um, feel free to comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And um, I'll see you next time, thanks.